An absolutely spectacular day in downtown Vancouver and inside BC Place, a sold out lower bowl, over 30,000 fans in attendance for the Lions home opener against the Alex. A first and 10. Taylor Cornelius, empty backfield, and off to his left to go ahead against Saskatchewan late in the game and couldn't do it. Kyle Loxley in again now. Short yardage across midfield to third and one. Loxley keeps it. And it looks like he does have enough for it to pick up a couple of yards. It ends up in the hands of the Lions. No whistle. No whistle. Quincy Moje has the ball and has taken it into the end zone. After automatic review by the command center, before the, pump, before the fumble, the Edmonton ball carrier's forward progress was stopped. It'll be first down Edmonton. Faking, handing off actually to Kevin Brown, who was taken down nicely for... A little bit of run with Mizell and 300 yards passing. Adams also rushed for a touchdown in that game. Under the pressure, he takes off up the middle and he slides down just to start his first game in the CFL tonight. Second and 10 at the Lion 27. That's in the hands of Mizell. Not enough for a first down up across the 30s. We lost him in free agency just before the season we started. We did. A big loss for us always, but great to see Benny and back home in Vancouver and coaching too. That's Mizell with the ball up across the 25. Second possession. Vernon Adams taken down. Become one of the best receivers in the league. That's Eugene Lewis. Second and 10. Cornelius to Kevin Brown. First down, Edmonton. First and 20. Cornelius under pressure and throws it away. So now they're inside the 35. No point looking deep here. Dylan Mitchell getting tackled high there as he. It's just a little swing pass here and head to the sideline and regroup of offense. Terry Williams takes the punt. A 43-yarder from Julian. Has a return going here. Stays in bounds and gets it all the way down to the Edmonton 40. To second and four now after that pickup of six. We're late in the first quarter. Adams, he gets it away and he completes it too. Down to the 25. Including any given Sunday. There you go. Forgot about that too in that one. And yeah, he's jacked. LL Cool J put on quite a show. To Vernon Adams back in and shuffles it off there to Mizell. But five to go. Adams and BC, they're threatening for the first time in this game. Oh, a look to the end zone. And no, not caught. It was Aiden Eberhardt. John White in his 14th season now. Still putting them through. And that's complete to Gino Lewis in different ways. It wasn't just the same thing on every down. People have to do their jobs. There's a deep ball. Now hold in Dylan Mitchell. Oh, they say no. Mitchell had his hands on it. 100 yards rushing on the on the night against Calgary. Second and five now Adams with time and he completes it for a first down BC. And then watch. Teams love running backs who love to block as well. Three man rush. Deep look. And into coverage it's picked up by the veteran Ed Ganey. Edmonton's defense rises up. The ball comes out and the Lions have it back at the BC 20. After automatic review by the command center, the Edmonton player was not down by contact. BC recovered the football. First down. So back at the 20 now. The Lions have it on a first down. And Adams rolling out to his right. And play action. And he completes that one. Another three-man rush as they drop him back again. And into the coverage, Rhymes had a shot at it. If, if you watch succession, folks, you know what yeah. I'm talking about. Logan Roy. Yes. There's Kevin Brown. Yes. First yes. down and more as he's taken down by... They would certainly take that the way it's gone the last couple of visits here. As the ball Paul comes Zola out again. and the Lions have it. Was he down? No. Oh, they're saying turnover. turnover. BC football. Last week against the Stampeders. Under two minutes to go. Adams completes that to Katoy. And trying to break free. 
So from a 37 to a 47 yard try, it's Sean White. He can make it happen. He's infused a lot of excitement in the Lions. Another three man rush. And finding that spot. Choosing to drop back in coverage. They do it again here in a first and 10. There you go. At the 47. Flushed out. And he still finds an open receiver in Calgary. That went over 40 earlier in this one. And that interception by Ed Ganey, who later fumbled the ball. So Adams to work here in the second half. Nine point lead. And another game there. His legs just wouldn't stop chugging. He picked up six, seven more yards after contact. Start the second half with one more. Clintock putting it down. And White caught the upright and it drops in. Well, everything's fine. And you know Chesney's been dreaming of doing that for years. Coors Light moment of yeah. chill. It, it says the defense for BC's playing well. But yeah, I know where you're going. Blitz coming. Cornelius gets it away and it gets bobbled by Manny Arsenault. And so here comes BC first and 10 at the Edmonton 33. Down the middle complete. Javon Katoy takes it down to the Edmonton 13. Lions still haven't found the end zone. Close here with Hall. Yards after the catch to get it down to the five. With so down just approaching the five now in a second and two. Faking the handoff. Soft toss. Into the end zone, one on one! Touchdown, BC! Dominic Rhymes! Adams to Rhymes, hooking up again for the third time this season. Absolutely. Second and six, Edmonton 44. Cornelius is taken down. Until BC put something together there. Three man rush again, and they did have a chance to go ahead. From the 44 in the second and six, and with that three man rush, Adams has all kinds of time. A flag does come out as he does take off and get it inside the 40. In practice, so I'm confident if we have to go to him. Sean White, 419 on the clock in counting. DC Lions are pitching a shutout, and they've got the ball again. And uh, last August, at the end of August, after the injury to Nathan Rourke, filled in admirably until Rourke came back late in the season in time for the playoffs. Here's a deep look, Adams. Oh, what a catch! What a catch, McKinnis! It's the first one in Lions history. They started in '54. They had won in October of 1960. They had a shutout, and then they got another one 17 years later. Brian Phillips pitching a shutout. That's it. Double zero victory formation doesn't happen very often in Canadian football and the Lions just got it done on defense. Well a big shout out for the shutout and the performance of the BC Lions in their home opener and they have reason to keep on celebrating after they improved to 2 and 0 with a big showdown against the 2 and 0 Winnipeg Blue Bombers.